Hey Ben, this is Mitch. Uh, just going to shoot you that quick video that we talked about on Facebook with three tips to get some more clients online. So we'll talk about three things today, content, backlinks, and citations. And we'll take a look at your website and then three of your competitors, see what they're doing and how you can beat them. So the first thing is Google likes to see about a thousand words of content on a home page. And that's really just, you know, anything that I can highlight. And Google can actually read what you save your images as. So you want to make sure that your um, Polger Brothers Landscape Winnipeg near me, um, <clears throat> it's not bad. Uh, you know, better than just a bunch of letters and numbers. But we want to try to save those as keyword intent phrases. Um, that way we can uh, start ranking for those keywords too. You definitely have a little bit of content, but could use a little bit more. I really do like these sliders. I think that they really do help people get a good picture of what, you know, is going on. So I just look at adding some more content to your homepage with the right keywords. And we'll talk about those keywords in a minute. So here's some of your competition. Um, you know, they have a little bit more content, but you could still beat them pretty easily with about a thousand words. Um, yeah, they have a lot more. You'd have to, we'd have to see how many words they have here. Whatever they have, uh, you'd want to have more than them in order to outrank them. Yeah, I still think that second website had the most. So whatever they have, uh, just beat them, get more than them. Uh, the next thing we'll talk about is backlinks. So all a backlink is is a link from one website to another website. When you link two websites together, they pass power. Um, so not all backlinks are created equal. You want to go after more powerful backlinks. So on Arif's, one of the paid tools I use, they rank websites with UR and DR. We like to see these two numbers here as close together as possible and as high as possible, and that makes it a more powerful website. So right now you have 51 backlinks coming from one website, um, and you don't have any power. I'm going to take a guess and say that's either because this, I mean, we can take a look and see, um, either doesn't have any power coming to it. Yeah, there's no power at that website. And also you might not be registered on the uh, Google search console. Um, We'll take a look here at Classic Landscape. Um, they have 27, almost 28,000 backlinks from 629 websites. They have a pretty powerful website. You'd like to see this number a little bit higher. Uh, but the good thing is, is we can actually go in and take a look and see where they're getting all of their links from. And um, see like this one right here with zero power and 13,000 links. Uh, that's, that's spammy. We don't want that. So... Um, you know, all these other links go after those same links because if it put them on the first page of Google, it'll put you there too. Um, this is the Viking landscaping. Um, they have 530 backlinks. Uh, still a more powerful website, but like see that number higher. But again, go in and, and grab all those good backlinks that they have. And they have a 1.3, so they have 1,300 backlinks from 357 websites, um, and their website is more powerful. Um, to give you an idea of what building all that power will do for you, we'll take a look at some keywords. So right now, your website ranks for one keyword, um, Bulger Brothers, and if that is in the 37th position so you're on the fourth page of google for that uh, search term so we'll take a look here at classic landscape <clears throat> this column right here is the search term on google and this column right here is the average monthly search volume and this right here this column right here is the kd or the keyword difficulty this tells us how hard and how long it's going to take to rank for that keyword so these are the keywords that you want to add into your content. And then once you make your website powerful by pushing those powerful backlinks to it, you're going to start ranking for these keywords. Um, and you can see here, uh, Winnipeg landscaping is searched on average 700 times a month. It has a 19 KD and this website's in the sixth position and they're bringing in 58 clicks a month on it. 
So just getting on that first page, you're going to start seeing a huge increase in traffic coming to your website. Uh, but Landscaping Winnipeg is searched 1,500 times a month with an 11 KD. So it's a, a less difficult keyword if you just word it this way and you get a lot more search volume. Uh, the best thing to do is go after those high volume, low KD keywords. Um, and it just takes a little bit of time to go through and, and see which keywords you want to rank for. Uh, you can see here that they rank in the number one spot for landscaping Winnipeg, and they're bringing in an average of 380 clicks a month onto their website. Uh, Winnipeg Landscaping Company, 300 times a month. Winnipeg, I don't know if there's a difference there. <clears throat> Um, landscape design Winnipeg so you can see that just the different ways that people search things are going to make things show up differently um, they're in the second position for landscaping Winnipeg or sorry they're in the fourth position for landscaping Winnipeg and they're getting 109 clicks a month uh, so you can see that once you push those backlinks to your website and you have the right keywords on your page uh, you're going to start ranking for these and you're going to start bringing in a lot more traffic uh, the last thing we'll talk about is citations and all a citation is is um, a way to rank your Google My Business. So if you want to show up when someone searches landscaping company Winnipeg and you want to be in this top three of the map pack, you have to have your Google My Business completely optimized and have as many reviews as possible. Uh, you want to have more pictures than everyone else and you want to make sure that they have a 750 character description um, right here. You want to make sure that you're using all 750 characters. Uh, you don't want to just write two sentences in there like this. Uh, basically, if Google gives you a spot to put information, you want to fill it out all the way. Um, then you can go after citations, and all a citation is is name, address, and phone number listed in as many online directories as possible. Those are like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and there's hundreds that you've probably never heard of. And a lot of times those directories are also going to give you a spot for a backlink as well. So you can work on citations to rank in the Google Map Pack, and then you can also get your um, work on your backlinks so that way you can build power and you can rank in the um, in the organic section of uh, the Google search. So if you have any questions about any of this or you need help implementing any of it, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help.